Hey there, I always use Arduino or Admeca328 for my projects because it has more GPIO pins and we can use it with minimum external components. But while working on a oximeter project, I faced some sort of memory problem also the price got a big hike due to the global chip shortage. So I was forced to look into other microcontrollers and I found this ESP12V or 12F. This chip is not new to me actually. Yeah, this is the same chip that was used in NordMCU, so I bought some of them. Actually, this is not an IC, it is a module. Inside the metal case, there is the main ESP8266 IC and other components. Now, how to program this? As you can see, the pitch of the header connectors is not standard. This header has a 2mm pitch and this is not breadboard friendly. So, we have to solder the wires to header pins if you want to work with this. We can use any USB to TTL converter to upload code to this board. That's okay, right? No, that's not okay because to program this ESP told we we need to connect pins to ground and VCC like this. So this is not practical to connect every time. So I decided to build a simple programmer for ESP8266 or ESP told we. After referring the data sheets, I made this circuit in ECEDA. It has two parts the USB to TTL converter part. After making the circuit diagram, I converted the schematic into a PCB and designed I inserted it into the backside header pins. So finally it's time to place the ESP 12V. We can place the ESP 12V in header pins or we can place it in the housing.
After that, I connected the USB cable to the computer and programmer. Now in the computer, you can see that the system detected the programmer and let's upload the basic Blink sketch. So here it is, no need to solder, no need to push the button, it's done. You can find the circuit diagram and other details from my website, link is in the description. So that's all about today, hope you enjoyed and learned something from my video. If so, please like, share and subscribe. All up to you, I will see you next time.